everybody, I'm Michelle with Birdie Bloom and today I am going to bring you my bag of the day and do a little bag talk on it. And that is this bag shown here in this catalog photo. It's a number 9016 Berkeley convertible back. And I've talked about the Berkeley line before and what it is is uh, basically the leather reverse. So where you typically have a suede on the inside, the suede is worn on the outside and you get that smooth uh, leather on the inside, which it typically tends to be a little bit pebbled actually, I would say um, a little bit more pebbled, uh, maybe not quite like the Sonoma line pebbling, but definitely more pebbled than the uh, smooth leather that you get on other vintage coach bags. So. Um, yep, uh, the bag has a 38 inch adjustable strap and it comes in black, mahogany, red, and russet, which is like a, the British tan. That's what they call the Berkeley British tan, I would say. It's, it's russet, which is so cute because it looks like a potato. Okay, so this one's obviously black and right now I have it set to be a backpack. Oops, got some wires coming. Um, yep, there you go. And I'll show you how I do that. But let's talk about what's on the inside. So even though it's reverse, look at the flap here, it's not reverse and it's actually smooth leather on both sides. So you kind of get a little bit of contrasting and the back is also not reverse. It has a little handle on the top, has a back zipper pocket. In this pocket, I keep my key wallet typically. So, cause I have a, um, I probably wouldn't do that if I had to access my keys often, um, but I have a non-entry uh, key fob or whatever. I don't have to do anything. I just get to my car, right? And it unlocks for me if I have my key fob. So I keep it in that pocket um, just to kind of keep it out of the way. And this is a magnetic button here, closure on the sides. Um, they'll cinch in, but they can also open up and there's little snaps on the sides. I will say that this is probably what I see um, problematic for these bags the most, and um, just one of them will uh, come off. They won't, it won't be able to snap anymore because they break. Um, I don't think it's that big of a deal. You can totally use the bag despite that, but that is where I see the error in these bags uh, mainly. And if you look, it's, um, I've mentioned this before, the Berkeley line has antique brass. So you're not gonna shine up this brass. And it's so funny because before I realized it was actually meant to be antiqued, um, I always thought, I don't, I think these bags look better not shined up. So um, I'm gonna leave the brass like it is. It has this beautiful patina and I like how it looks. Well, that's actually what it was meant to look like. So, so ironic. Oh, look at the bottom lip. And also you see how that leather is a little bit pebbled that yeah that's what you typically get on the Berkeley line so this nice back and that the leather here is also pebbled isn't that pretty okay so inside my bag here um, I have my multifunction key wallet or it's actually a multifunction purse my one of my favorite um, small luxury good vintage coach items and I keep it in this zipper pocket here and I typically keep that unzipped just because I want easy access to it and why I bring this bag, it's going to a, the discovery place today with my children, um, is because I can put a lot of stuff in it. So this is a Sonoma. I'm not, I don't have the right name. I'm going to talk about this. This is one of my favorite new purchases. Um, but it's a Sonoma essentially skinny case, but that's not actually an, an official name of that. Uh, diapers and whites. I have a water, which I make them share. I don't want to carry around two waters. Oh, the top came off of that. And um, some snacks. So, and that's pretty much all I have in here. And you see the bottom is smooth. The inside is smooth because the leather was simply reversed. Right? So cool. Um... Yeah, is anything else I wanted to say about that? I do know. Let me restock it just so you can see what it looks like on, and I'll show you how, because I told you this is a convertible bag. I'll show you how I convert it. 
Oh, I also typically keep my wallet, in, I mean my phone in there, but I'm filming on it, right? So, okay. We'll snap these closed. Again, not a big deal. They can be open. Okay. And I'll show you how it does convert, but right now it's, uh, it's the backpack. So let's put her on. And this is how it looks on. Probably one of my biggest pet peeves of this bag, which doesn't prevent me from using it, is that the straps, I can't figure out how to keep, unless I put something right here, which I could easily do, might need to find some sort of like rubber thing or something to put here, but this will slide and making the strap shorter. So every time I do put it on, I make sure I slide it all the way back and put it on. Um, and that is how I get through that drama. I've tried to like put this through because that would create like an obstacle there, but it, it doesn't fit through this little lip here. But this is how it's essentially converted. Um, so, the strap is going to just go like this for non-backpack wear, which I'm going to show you. But all you do is you take your strap and you put it through this bottom part and you hook it into here. And there are holes at the bottom, which is for backpack use. But look, there are also holes all the way up here at the top, which is going to be for crossbody or shoulder bag use. Isn't that cool? So... Um, I typically wear it on the smallest setting or to make it the smallest, bring it over here. And then what we also got are little um, tabs, leather tabs that came with two um, that keep this secure. So it's not flopping around. All right. So let's go back and convert it to crossbody use. So. Here we go. And we're gonna bring it all the way up. And I'm just gonna do it actually on the largest setting here. And then I'm gonna take Look, I already put it through one, so I guess that's probably why there's two, because it really needs like maybe to go into the middle, and then it can go on the end here to keep the strap, you know, from being too crazy, loopy, right? And here is the bag over my shoulder. Is that Sorry, I know my angling and where I film isn't necessarily the best. Maybe I can change that one day. And this is, did I say, this is, yeah, the longest setting for shoulder. So let's put it crossbody. I did that because I also wanted to crossbody it. But it will go a little shorter. And I actually, I like this bag crossbody too. I like that I can just pick up the handle, I can do the flap, um, reach in, get my stuff. But I have been wearing it as a backpack just to see how I like it. I'm not really a big backpack person though, so I might end up just, I love that this is convertible. I love a convertible anything. Anything that has multi-uses, multiple ways of wearing is brilliant to me one of my favorite features of anything, clothing, bags, what, whatever. So there you have it. 9016 Berkeley convertible backpack. Love it. Um, you can see them around occasionally. They're not going to be cheap, but, uh, it's a really great versatile bag. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more vintage coach bag talk. Guys, I have started a new Facebook group and it's called um, Vintage Coach Eye Candy. 
and that is exactly what it's meant to be. My vision for it is beautiful pictures galore and then information to boot. Um, so yeah, it's gonna kind of be like a play off of my channel. I would love for you to join. Um, you just have to request, I'll accept you. So Vintage Coach Eye Candy on Facebook. Um, join if you wanna just kind of peruse cool pictures, but also if you wanna share what you have. Um, and if you have any questions about what you have, you're welcome to ask them. I'll try to post pictures and um, information for you. But yeah, the whole goal is for beautiful pictures and um, just something that would be fun for people to like look through, right? Uh, again, Vintage Coach, Eye Candy on Facebook. And yep, like this if you um, enjoy the video and subscribe to my channel for more Vintage Coach bag talks um, so that you don't miss it when I post a new video. I like to go over bags that aren't often talked about like this one. So yep. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.